Hey friends, happy Wednesday to you. It's an exciting time of the year. Kids are going back to school. This past Sunday at our church, we celebrated with kickoff, the beginning of a new Sunday school year and the beginning of new adult Bible classes. In two weeks, September 21st, it is National Come Back to Church Sunday. It is a time of new starts and it, it is an exciting time of the year. As we think about new starts, I, my mind is brought to renewal. And as I think about renewal, I think of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Here it says, If anyone is in Christ, that he is a new creation, and behold, the old is gone, and that the new has come. This passage is all about renewal, and we are in constant need of it. We are encumbered by the weight of the world pushing down upon us, and we are often troubled by past mistakes and failures. And Sometimes we feel as if, as if we are at a dead end with no way out. It's easy to live in regret, and we wish that we could go back and change the past, but there really is no going back and changing the past. Time travel is something of the fantasy world. This is why renewal is so important. Renewal does not change the past but it gives us a fresh start. Renewal does not dwell in the past, but it looks to the present. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, so reading on a little further from chapter 5, we read this. In a favorable time, God says, I listened to you, and in a day of salvation, I helped you. Behold, now is the favorable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Today, you have an invitation to make a new and fresh start. And that invitation to renewal is found in a living and abiding relationship with Jesus the Savior. It doesn't say in 2 Corinthians that it comes by working harder in Christ. It doesn't say that it comes by singing more passionately for Him. It doesn't say that it comes from learning more about Him. It doesn't say it comes by volunteering more hours for Him. It doesn't say that it comes by wearing the right t-shirt with the Christ logo on it. What it says is anyone who is in Christ is a new creation. The invitation is to walk with Him, to rest in Him, to trust in Him, to receive His acceptance and His love. The renewal that Christ brings is about taking off the self-imposed burdens that we put upon ourselves that weigh us down. So many of us are filled with anxiety to produce results. And we believe that the results come by us working harder and us working smarter. And we think that we must shoulder the burden when Christ invites us to give that burden over to Him. The calling of Christ is to take His yoke. He says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly of heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The calling is to leave the results to God. Give up, let go, surrender. Stop trying so hard. Make a new start and trust in Jesus. Renewal is not so much about changing our circumstances, but it's about changing our attitude, changing our heart, and changing our perspective. It's about looking at things from God's perspective rather than ours. And when we begin to look at things from His perspective, the world around us, we begin to see things with new eyes and we begin to see Him at work and everything changes. And you'll be amazed at what He does. Hey friends, happy Wednesday. I am praying today for God's renewal in your life through a living and abiding relationship with Jesus Christ. Have a good day. We'll see you next week.